Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Riley's Playtime YouTube channel. I'm Riley, this is my playtime, and this is the Action Force Steel Brigade gear pack, specifically heavy weapons. We have the front of the box with that artwork that all gear pack and troop builders have, except for the exclusives, 14 and up as always, and then Valver at the bottom, Action Force at the top. Action Force at the top of the box, Valiverse at the top of the box, Force your Choking Hazard as well. Side of the box says Action Force, and this is part of the Special Deployment series, so that's why you see the deco on the artwork being that darker colored tread plate with the sparks. Here's the artwork on the side that's exactly the same as the front, just not colored. And then, of course, you get one action point. There's your QR code, everything that you usually get on the back of the box, and it shows you everything that comes in the packaging, as always. So for this, we're getting ahead. We are getting three weapons, three magazines, a knife, a knife holder. I hope that's attached to something, because I really am scared now. We are getting the holsters for the legs. We are getting... The vest that has been used a few times, I believe, with uh, the Urban Gear Pack and the Bone Collector. Quote me if I'm wrong. I think that might be a different color scheme. I could be wrong. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up. And I'm not going to put it on a figure. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And then I may put it on a figure at the end of the video. I'm undecided. So getting started, we have the vest. And I went ahead and just stuck the Steel Brigade helmet in there which is completely different from standard issue and if you know me you know green is my favorite color and i am digging this the green and yellow kind of reminds me of the wasp figure that i probably won't ever get and then of course it has the silver for that part of the mask which i don't know what that is it would be cool to know more about like the equipment that silver gates use so sorry about that we have painted lines that are painted black. I will be doing my Steel Brigade figure review after this, so I haven't uh, opened it to compare. So also sorry about that, otherwise I would put it on the Steel Brigade figure, but I haven't done the review, but I wanted to open this first because this can be used with your imagination instead of just steel brigade figures you can put this on any body and then make a steel brigade which i think is partly why i got it because i might just go ahead and swap over if you watched my last video i had the delta trooper with the night ops i might swap that over and make delta trooper the heavy weapon steel brigade and then put my night ops vest back on the night ops figure that's besides the point i really like the black outlines of the helmet here and then what looks to be where you would put a gopro or any kind of camera there or your night vision but he doesn't need that so the nice yellow visor i'm not sure if this is the same as the night ops one or not where's my figure if i can think straight bear with me for one second okay so here we go night ops has a green one and the sort of darker green instead of black so it's kind of color swapped i think the heavy weapons one i actually like more just because of that yellow contrast even though i really like green and black so that's the difference there and then of course the other one or the standard issue still brigade helmet is also silver but it's blue and lighter blue for the visor so there's not much else to say about this except for it's the basic helmet repainted this has been used multiple times. I don't think this is the same paint that is on it as far as the, I think it might be molded in a different color and painted in a different color, but someone's going to have to let me know because I don't own anything else besides this, but I do like this design. It's sort of that bomb squad, sort of bad guy, like really bulky uh, build person, I imagine, being wearing this with maybe an LMG which I might actually give him an LMG. He does come with, or this does come with three weapons. I will show them after this. So we have sort of a brown molding with the black straps and gray everything else, except for the bullets. I do like that they are, uh, the casing and the tip of the bullet is 
there. I'm not sure if these are grenades or not. These actually look like grenades being green. And then, of course, the straps for those. So I do like that these are actually painted to look like clasp. They are black straps with the green plastic little clip-in pieces. And these are actually your points of security. So you get your top, top and the bottom. And this might be easier to put on than the Night Ops Still Brigade one. So the Still Brigade, or the basic Still Brigade one, has the can't really show it it's too dark it has a completely different side actually never mind let me flip this around I'm trying to look at this through the camera and think and and also see with my one light all at the same time sorry guys anyways we have the top and the bottom on this one is one solid piece that's the point i was trying to make and then these are separated so the bottom is completely its own strap so this might be easier to secure than that one i'm hoping so the only vest i've ever had a problem with securing as far as needing more than just a little patience is this the night op still brigade one that might be because it was brand new i might not have heated up enough even though i did heat it up a while and getting past that there is the Still Brigade logo on the back, which I don't know what that means. I would like to know what the actual point of the symbol is. I'm not too sure there. The knife sheath is attached, which is nice. I was not expecting that. So that's basically this whole piece and the head sculpt. And funny enough, you can kind of slide it in there and just make it look like a dead body. So getting into the rest of the accessories... Starting off with the strong arm that it comes with 90% of action force, I feel like. It has gray in, on the handle and then black for the blade, which I believe this is the only version that I have at least that comes with those paint apps. I don't think the weapons tin comes with it or any of the other figures come with those paint apps. So that is nice to get a different paint app on the same weapon. Next, I'll go ahead and go for the big one. We have an AA-12, which has a black magazine and black sights. And that's all there really is to say, except for the barrel and the... Uh, I don't even want to pretend I keep forgetting the name of that. The uh, eject. We're just going to call it that for the sake of quickly remembering. I like this gun. I have, I want to say, four of them now with this one. With the weapons tin coming with a couple of them. Next, we have the scar with the grenade launcher. So I guess those are grenades that go with them. Would be cool to get some grenades that are free of the vest as well, though. And uh, maybe look, make it look like he's holding one or something like that. Or just for display purposes on the ground, maybe. Those would be cool. Anyways, painted in tan and black just like the other one. Or just like all the weapons are. So I quite like that. Uh, makes them different from all the other weapons that I have even though we have the same moldings and then finally we have the Desert Eagle with the black grip nothing else to really say about that it's a Desert Eagle three magazines we have the one that comes in the scar and then two extra black mags they are simple there are the metal magazines or the you know what I mean the metal imitation then we have the magazine holster leg strap and then the pistol holster as well with the black uh, accents to make it look like the straps are going all the way through and the gray for the actual straps. I believe these are new colors compared to what I already have. Closest thing I think I have is the Desert Rat also has the this tone of tan or brown. So that is the entirety of the gear pack. And while I was about to film this, I went on Instagram and Valiverse has once again announced more of the spring release items. And he has confirmed, or whoever runs the Instagram, has confirmed that there's the pre-orders. Or, uh, hold on. Getting thoughts together, loading real quick. The release day to buy is in spring of 2023 this current year not the pre-orders so i don't know if that was him saying pre-orders are sooner or if 
there will be no pre-order such as the special deployment series because all I'm saying is if we can keep it like that where release day is release day and there will be no pre-orders and we can go ahead and just order them and then receive them a couple weeks later that would just be in my opinion awesome like I'm not saying that's the best way to do things because I don't know the best way to do things for business or even for consumer standpoint I am a that was the sound of desert rat falling. So that being said, I should have gave you guys this camera angle to begin with, but back to my little rant here, because I have to do at least one per video. That being uh, said, as far as the Instagram post, I like to be able to see a figure or anything on Valiverse.com or anywhere just see it online available to buy and then it ships within two weeks because I know they're a smaller company and they don't have the amount of hands that Amazon does or even other websites so I'm not expecting a two-day shipping here I'm extremely far away in my opinion from them um, I think it's like a full day flight maybe so I like the idea of being able to just go ahead and buy the item, and gosh, my desk is dirty. I dust this every day, I'm sorry. So, the idea of being able to buy the, the item and have it ship instantly and get it as soon as possible is my preferred way of ordering figures. Now, the downside that some of you may go ahead and counter-argue is, well, with pre-orders, you're not fighting people, really, to get them which is partly not true because you have to fight for the pre-orders, but once you lock in a pre-order, you're locked in for the figure. So I can kind of see pre-orders are good because you pre-order, and then that kind of allows the company to see how many units are wanted and how many have sold, and if you sell out quickly, that allows the company to go ahead and be like, oh, we need to go ahead and restock this. And then after pre-orders are shipped, you go ahead and post the extras and just do what Valverse has already done for Action Force, the remaining stock gets put up online, which I really like that as well, because I usually don't jump on pre-orders unless it's something I really want due to budgeting. So being able to have the restock, the chance of getting a restock when it comes out is great too, but I also don't like waiting. So spring isn't that far away if you think about it. It's only a few months. We can hold off until then. Surely, guys, come on. So if drop day is just in spring and there's no pre-orders, then I'm happy with that. But if pre-orders show up, I might only pre-order a couple things. So you might not get videos of everything. Just like I've said in the last video, I don't collect every single item from a company. That's like I'm not just on a bandwagon um, completely anyways. Now I know Valiverse is a new YouTube craze, but anyways... Getting past that, I don't really collect everything. So, that rant out of the way. Let's go ahead and put this in here. And final thoughts on this. I don't really, really want to put it in or on a figure right now. But I will just for you guys. Just for the sake of you came here to see what it looks like on a figure. And I know you did. And I'm going to go ahead and change the angle again. Swap this on a figure. It might take a little bit. So we're definitely doing this off camera. So here he is, almost completely kitted up. I did not add the ammo pouch or put a weapon in his hand for the sake of me not really wanting to mess with it that long. I don't really like the look of these anyways. I've mentioned that before. I prefer it on the chest, but of course with this sort of bomb squad-esque look, you can't really do that. So I get why that was the way they went. Now, I think this is going to stay like this. I wish it included the little harness that goes around the back like a belt, but oh well. Don't know if that's really appropriate for the look or not, but I would have liked to have that maybe in black or that same gray or tan just to give him something more. Um, but he comes with three weapons, so I cannot complain. So... I think he's going to stay like this in my collection. I don't see the point in putting it on a normal Steel Brigade unless I buy another one. Due to the fact that I don't want all my Steel Brigades to look the same. So if I had bought 
two standard issue steel brigades and then I gave one this of course they would look different but they would they would look like they're going to the same fight and I kind of like this look where he doesn't look like he's going to the same battlefield as as a standard blue steel brigades like this guy might be going to the forest for sure with the delta trooper um yeah with both well he is one but with the other delta trooper he might just be going in there and cleaning up you know like it's my imagination and I like this look for my collection and it's nice that I got a gear pack that I really didn't want to use and got a figure that needed a gear pack because even though they were sold out now I have a use for it. So he's running the Night Ops Steel Brigade gloves because I think they look better than the just plain gray Desert Trooper gloves. So he is now my fully kit bashed figure and I'm probably going to take more pictures of this guy whenever I get done with this. So, the gray on tan, or brown, I really like that, and then the the tan on black, they just, with the green, it just, it was bound to go with the green body, I mean, just look at the head, they almost, well, I forget, the camera always makes the heads look lighter for some reason, but they are exactly the same, so I don't know if that's the material, the camera is not picking it up right, these gloves are actually different for sure, in real life. But I just wanted to go ahead and point that out. They are not drastically different. Uh, the gloves, they're definitely not that light, but they are subtly different. I just had to bring it out of frame to see outside the camera there. So, final camera angle change of the video, I promise. Here is the weapons or heavy weapons steel brigade gear pack. My kit bashed Delta Trooper, whatever you want to call it. This is the review for the gear pack, but of course it has to have a body. So, that being said, the gear pack restricts articulation. So, I'll go ahead and just note that the head, of course, he still looks where you want him to look. As much as you would want him to look. Really, the restricting factor is the neck, but it's soft, so you can kind of get around it. But he, he just can't quite look straight to the side but he does look fine around or look around fine so wow i cannot speak so basically here he is i don't want to go get um alternate hands for him so he'll have a trigger finger so he's not holding his rifle or i would have given him the aa12 or the scar but yeah not too sure uh, never mind, disregard that. <laughs> I like it. Not sure if you guys like it. I like the green look, so I just wanted to show off if you want to get a Republic Guard body, no matter what body you prefer, I think the, the Riot Trooper would look good too on this because that's all blue and not just like the color of the Steel Brigade for the legs. So this is going to be my heavy weapon Steel Brigade until I possibly get another gear pack, and then maybe another normal steel brigade. So I don't have the normal steel brigade open. I, of course, have my night ops and then my other kit bash steel brigade, which is the other night ops and stuff. is still falling off my desk. So here is my kit bashed, somewhat kit bashed night ops steel brigade. I kind of like to think of him as like the small squad leader, like he is the leader of a couple men. He is running a all-black M4 with a gray magazine with the Spec Ops head with Delta Trooper's helmet. So, there's that. And then there's my, which will be complete Steel Brigade, since I took off the Steel Brigade vest. My somewhat bare uh, Night Ops there with the Spec Ops head as well. And I think... Whenever you take the vest off, you almost have to take the helmet off and give them the black balaclava. I think that just looks the best, the most fitting. And yeah, so he will be receiving his vest. He may or may not be receiving his helmet as well. I might just switch out the hands or something and give him like holding helmet sort of pose there so the only vest i've had trouble with so far is this steel brigade vest which i realized the the top peg won't peg in all the way because i did rip it when i stretched it out just slightly so i'm not complaining since it was kind of my fault but this was a pain 
more than any other vest. This vest included, this vest was not a pain to deal with. It did take a little patience, but I, they all take a little patience. They are collectible figures, so they will take patience. It's really just the fact that they're soft rubber, and what you want to peg in doesn't really want to go. So, we all know how that goes. But yeah, he, as you can tell, looks pretty good. Kind of sticking out. I don't think that I could get it better than that. So, I just wanted that to be said. It is not a complete pain like the other one. I did not need heat for that. I just plugged it in. So, there we go. So, there is my Still Brigade collection. And I kind of like the look of having that. And also, since this is a Still Brigade video, and I mentioned this earlier, I did break that. It was completely my fault. And I used the I tried to use the stock to lift something so I could get the vest plugged in because usually when you lift the vest and then push at the same time, that's how I could get them in. Yeah, I broke that, so don't do don't be a uh, dummy like me. But now that I broke it, I'm not sure if I want to super glue it back together because I kind of like the no stock look with the grenade launcher. I think I don't know. Do you guys like it? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Um, and I have extras, so I'm not sure if I really want to do that, because I have an all-black, and I have the ones that came with the weapon tent. So there are my Steel Brigade collection. Here is Desert Rat, who probably would never fight with these Steel Brigades. Not in that outfit, at least. For quick size comparison, just because I have them sitting here. And Sergeant Slaughter as well, so he is not in frame. Now he is. So, final verdict... For a heavy weapon steel brigade, it comes with a lot. The amount of accessories that come in this accessory pack, I think, might be more than the other accessories. If you don't count every single swappable piece. Like if you just say helmet, or helmet weapon, vest, things like that. Not like the little pieces on the helmet. Then yes, I think this is probably the biggest accessory pack I have because I have the Delta gear pack, I have the Spec Ops, and I have the Security Enforcement pack, which here's my Spec Ops Trooper in his gear pack with the swapped little magazine. So I uh, can't think of anything else to say, and I feel like I'm taking up a lot of your time, but I've got one more video to film, and I would like to get it done before everyone comes home, otherwise I won't be able to film it. So... There's a quick look, well, a really not so quick look at my gear pack with my fully, my first fully kit bashed figure. And I think this might be the way I kit, kit bash Action Force from the future. I just buy one troop builder and then buy a gear pack that doesn't go with them and maybe that's what I'll be doing in the future. Otherwise, I kind of want another Delta Trooper now to make a full Delta Trooper because I wanted two Delta Troopers, two Spec Ops Troopers. I wanted the gear pack for both of the Delta Troopers, and that didn't happen because they were sold out. So hopefully Valvers restocks on that. I don't think he will again because it took him a while the first time. But that being said, as I always say, comment whatever you want. You can leave a rating, dislike, or like. That is completely your choice. I hope you enjoyed, but if not, that's fine too. Let me know in the comments what you did not like, because I would love to know. And other than that, you can go ahead and donate to me on my PayPal me link in the about section of this channel if you prefer to. You obviously are not being forced to. And yeah, if you do donate, that will help me with the channel that'll probably help me buy another light or anything like that to go with uh the quality of videos as i like to say i will probably buy a diorama eventually so that'll help me just get better equipment maybe a microphone let me know your suggestions for lights microphones anything that you would like or that you think would be good for me and my filming setup and that is most of my action force sitting in front of you so thank you all for watching